Hey guys, George Murkowski, Positive Property. How are you? Now, I've got with me here today, Andy Asani. Andy Asani is part of our circle of safety. And when it comes to tax and properties, Andy's the man. He really knows his stuff. Thank That's you, George. Right. Thank you. And um, today we're gonna have a little bit of a chat about uh, some of the stuff that you do. Now, yep. what, I love about, what I love about Andy, what I love about you is you're a passionate property investor. Thank you, yes. And uh, I think that you know, if you're going to get an accountant to look after your stuff, that's right. You really want someone that actually knows what they're doing. That's that's right. So basically, you need to know what you're doing as well, and especially as an accountant. And obviously, you need to make sure that you understand your client situation. Mm -hmm. Like myself as well, I've been in the I own a rental property since 2007, mm -hmm. so basically about 12 years now. And then I'm very passionate with properties, and then especially Australian properties because I know it's going to increase all the time as well. Yep. Regardless of the situation, whether it's GFC or you know, like recession and all, all that, the property is always the safest uh, comfort zone as well. That's for you, and then also to, uh, to invest as well. Yep. Mm -hmm. So you, you specialize in properties. Is that correct? That's, that's correct. Yeah. Fantastic. So um, one of the things I want to talk about. Mm -hmm. One thing that I love doing is yeah. see a lot of people like getting tax deductions, that's, which is great. That's right. However. My favorite tax deductions are tax deductions that are happen on paper, yeah. not in real life. <laughs> yeah, that's right. right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're my favorite types. Yeah, that's right. right. Yeah. So, um, and I want to explain to people mm. a little bit about something that we use quite often, mm. and that you're a specialist in, mm. and that's the ITWV. Mm. That's and right. I mean, the Internal Tax Withholding yeah. Variation. Now, it's a mouthful. Yes. But. It's, it has a really long name as well. Obviously, it's POIG income tax withholding variation. Yep. And then what it does, obviously, as, as you know, with the you know, tax withholding, is when you work for others, then obviously your employer will withhold some tax from you. Now, if you're an investment investor, like investment in property, and then especially if you've got negative gear and all that, so you're actually having a um, uh, possibility to vary your with, withholding tax from yep. your employer. How to do that? Obviously, you need to apply that. Um, obviously, with you need an accountant to do that for you. Yep. Because um, if you do it yourself, trust me, it's going to be very difficult as well. Well, well and then, why would you do it yourself? And then to start with, it's not that because they don't accept paperwork to start with. Mm -hmm. that there's no longer paper to do it. And then it's very specific. You need to go to certain thing and certain websites as well. So yeah. Yep. No, you need, you need to know what you're doing, definitely. Exactly. And and what I love about this is mm. um, what we can do mm. is with um, if you pay YE, what happens is every week. The government takes a big chunk out for super yeah. and a massive chunk out for tax. That's correct. And yeah. you don't get anything back to the end of the year. Yeah. And see, a lot of people say to me, go, go, George, well, you know, would you rather get your money back on a weekly basis or mm. within the year? They go, I end of the year. And I go, well, that's dumb because <laughs> you've just given the tax department a free loan. That's correct. Right? That's right. So yeah. what we would have do, we would have turned the tables because mm. when it comes to property, mm. cash flow is key. That's correct. And, and to then, get cash flow, you yeah. need the money on a weekly basis. That's right. And that's George. what you can do. Exactly, yeah. George. Because uh, with this POIG um, income tax, so we're holding variation. It's creating you an extra cash flow. Yeah. Because um, all the investors need, obviously, they have an offset account. Mm -hmm. So you can sit on the offset account and then saving on the interest. Yeah. That one. And I think um, the yeah. average person so mm -hmm. far, what you've been doing with our group, yeah. is gets around $85 a week. That's right. Yeah. Back in their pocket. Now imagine that. Imagine. Um, and sometimes just, actually even more. I yeah. mean, like it depends what you're doing in your your mm -hmm. circumstances yep. as well. Okay, excellent. And then, more. And, and then even a lot of people get zero tax, even hundred yep. percent almost, mm -hmm. and depending on your income. Because now they actually change the assessment as well. They used to do uh, they don't recognize uh, fringe benefit uh, any longer, but yep. now they actually recognize fringe benefit as part of your salary sacrifice. Oh really? So, okay, yeah. all right, great. So with, with 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 everything. So obviously it depends on your income and all that. So they, they might reduce to 0% or to 15% to in, instead of you doing that by about 28%, which is the, just the average tax. Yep. So, so, so as, a, as a member, mm. once you've got your property rented out mm. and you've got the depreciation schedule, Andy's the next man you see. This is what you need to do. And the good part about Andy is well, after you see Andy, the government's going to be writing a big check and hopefully $8,500 dollars Thank you. more <laughs> every week you're sitting in your way, which yeah. is going to be great. Mm. And uh, this is a very important part. And you can't miss this part because that's part of the cash flow calculator and that's the way we create the cash flow that's in the right. first place. So it's very, very important. Um, anything else we need to know about properties and deductions? I mean, it used to be great in the old days where we could fly to Queensland twice a year. Yeah, unfortunately, obviously, two years ago, the government decided to remove, abolish uh, completely the travel allowance mm. completely. But now, obviously, you still can do that. However, if you... Uh, 
if you ask your travel, no, if you ask your property agent to do it for you, then you're actually doing it as a tax deductible for you. So your property agent need to do your travel, and they will need to put it into part of the cost as well. Oh, so your your agent can fly there. The agent can fly, but not you, but not us, not the investor, unfortunately. Yeah. But you still like to that tax deductible, obviously. The government's smarter, so they don't want us to do a holiday, obviously, and plan. I, I, <laughs> love, I love having holidays. I know, it's the same with me, because I, I used to go to Queensland as well, and we do, because you can do a portion on that one as well, you know, like you can do, you know, like most probably about a couple of days, and then a week holiday, mm -hmm. and you visit your property about two days, so that's easy, 30% on your travel, mm -hmm. so it's saving. So yeah, you know, yeah. instead of private, you can easily tax deductible. Yeah, you know? yeah. But now you can ask your property agent to do it for you, mm -hmm. and then of course they will put the markup as well. So yeah, there's something to think about. Okay, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. excellent. So look, basically where it's at is the next step in your program, you need to go see Andy, public surplus safety. Thank you. And then Andy's gonna sit down, he's gonna help you get your ITWV, just make sure we're getting all the proper tax deductions and make sure we get it back on a weekly basis to help your cash flow. And basically the important part is you know, as we spoke many times about the circle of safety, when you've got this team around you, your dream team for your property investing, they're the ones that can help you get to your next level and get to your next goal. If you want to get 10 properties in 10 years, you really need to put the effort in and get the right team behind you. That's right, yeah. But remember as well, with investment properties, obviously you need to know that it's not about you having either negative gear. You need to make sure that, make sure that your property is also positive and at the same time you need to have a healthy cash flow to maintain that as well. Exactly, so, it's yeah. all about cash flow. Cash flow is exactly. key, that's what we're saying. Yeah, cash flow is key. Yeah. So thank you so much. Click the link below and that will get you an appointment with Andy. We'll talk to you soon. Cheers, bye-bye. Thanks guys, thank you. Cheerio. That's excellent. That's excellent.